was an extortion attempt on a casino unlike any ever since seen before or since. 35 years ago at Harvey's Hotel and Casino on the south shore of Lake Tahoe, News 3 put reporters on the case, but let's start with NBC's Tom Stridehorse, who was dispatched to Nevada on short notice. The crisis here began yesterday morning around 8 a.m. when residents of the hotel were warned to get out immediately. In the aftermath, it turned out a device had been wheeled in at dawn. The four witnesses offered their descriptions under hypnosis, recalling what they could about two men seen delivering a weighty container of what appeared to be IBM equipment to the casino. It was that container that held the bomb. A thousand pounds of dynamite were attached to a complicated arrangement of switches. A ransom note said only the right combination would deactivate it. Harvey's tried to comply with the three million dollar demand. When the drop was not picked up, the governor asked for another chance. This request is made due to a failure of enlightenment and a confusion in following the previous directions. The hotel is prepared to comply and is standing by as before. No answer came, so federal and state experts tried to defuse the bomb by setting off a small charge on top in hopes it would disable the mechanism below. A decision made that we had to take a chance, we did, and the device went off. A five-story crater was blown open, but no one was hurt. Las Vegas FBI Bureau Chief Joseph Yablonski was called to head the investigation. We have real suspects in terms of about 200 people that we're checking into. These are what we consider the likenesses of the suspects. Regarding the possible capture of suspects, Yablonski said he was the eternal optimist, believing eventually they will be taken into custody. A year later, John Burgess, who had gambled away hundreds of thousands of dollars at the casino, was arrested, along with the two younger men who placed the bomb. Two key witnesses against John Burgess were his two sons, Jimmy and John Jr. The two made a deal with federal authorities, leniency for their part in the bombing attempt in exchange for testimony against their dad. Well, despite their involvement, the two sons received suspended sentences for their cooperation. Mastermind John Burgess died in prison in 1996. Harvey's rebuilt and is still there at State Line. It's now part of Caesars Entertainment. Kim and Dana. Thank you, Tom. In fact, not only is it there, Harvey's, when you go in there, which I did in the early 90s, there's no evidence of the explosion oh, no. at all. Had no idea. I've had a, lo a lovely lunch overlooking yeah. Lake Tahoe from Harvey's. Uh, Harvey's had no idea until Tom's video vault that ever happened.